VGAR Hall Civil War Museum in Nebraska City reopened Thursday with a redesign led by museum coordinator Dean Schisler and inspired by the drive to tell the Nebraska story of the Civil War. Sean Chance, a volunteer for the Civil War Veterans Museum, said the former displays in the waist-high cases looked like a roadside attraction from the 50s. So, it was decided to establish a more interactive learning experience. Items of interest include a shawl worn at President Lincoln's first inaugural address in 1861, firearms, swords, and a station where children can dress like a soldier, Union, or Confederate. A lot of it is, is recycled stuff, but presented in a different light so that before, in the cases, there was really, you really didn't see any narrative. You didn't really learn anything. You just saw something and you could say, gee whiz, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. But now you can understand a little more. About Guests now enter through an audiovisual room and can follow panels beginning with pre-war politics to Nebraska statehood. It's just been a progressive transformation over the past five years. Um, we've just been deciding what we're going to try and do. And then we got with the museum, the local museum association before Brian Volkmer and now with Dean Schisler and we would just get together, brainstorm about different ideas. Among those in attendance was Susan Rice of Nahaka, who is a descendant of one of the last members of the Grand Army of the Republic Hall in Nebraska City. William Balfour was five when the family migrated to the United States and was in his early teens when his father was killed in action in the Civil War. Balfour continued the fight alongside the Nebraska 1st Infantry, which was formed in Omaha, but had many members from Nebraska City. Rice presented the museum with family photographs and one of Balfour's violins. Well, it belongs in Nebraska City because he was a member here. He lived in Odo County. He traded here. There's a, a ledger here where he comes down to buy um, and what he buys and sells and trades for neighbors and things. Um, very meticulous. Um, bookkeeper. This is 1873. The GAR Hall was organized in Nebraska City in 1879 and was active until 1935. From Nebraska City, I'm Dan Swanson, News Channel Nebraska.